What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today's video should be a simple, nice repair on a water pump. This is a gasoline water pump, CMXX, some generic 79cc engine, but this will be the same for pretty much any small 79cc engine like this. Well, there, for Alpha came off. Okay, so your standard water pump, customer states that it's not running. I haven't proven that theory or disproven that theory, but I'm gonna take the customer's word for it. He said he dumped out old gas, but fresh gas won't start. So we can start with the carburetor. Now with the air filter, you got the two screws to pull it off. And then we're gonna have two tins right here. And that's pretty much the gist of what we're gonna use. We're gonna use some, pretty much everything we're gonna use is right here. I love this little toolbox too, by the way. Especially being, I know this is off topic, but especially being like a noble mechanic, I just take this toolbox with me on repairs and this fixes 90% of every problem I have. Especially in this industry. So two pins. This should remove the housing. put the little ring back in and now we can either pull this off the tube much we will we will we'll just pull it out so here's our carburetor pretty standard this looks like a you know old school Briggs carburetor you'll see these on a lot of rototillers and stuff like that we can remove the gasket now what we're gonna do and by the way, I have links in the description for any of the tools I use. So if you want to ever check those out, feel free to go check them out. No extra, but it helps out the channel if you purchase something. We'll pinch the line since these don't have fuel shutoffs. And now we'll remove the fuel line. Perfect. Now from here, we'll just pull the carburetor up, pull the throttle linkage all the way up. Undo the spring, and there's the carburetor. Beautiful. You, uh, you can see the stickiness on it. So I'm saying, I'm pretty sure, let's look at that. As soon as I get in there, we'll see some stickiness. We can also, I can, oh, I can tell that the gas coming out of that is old as well. So let's clean this carburetor. Now, 10 millimeter on the bottom, like always. Let all the bad gas go on to my rag here. Peel off this gasket. If we put it aside, away from carburetor cleaner, we should be able to reuse that gasket. Now looking at it, we got a jet right here we'll clean out. We'll spray up in there and we'll spray in this hole here and in here. Now let's talk about getting to your pilot jet first. You're gonna throttle this all the way in and we'll adjust it afterwards, it doesn't matter. I don't think, you know, the perfectness of it is gonna really matter. I'll show you what I do. And then you're gonna use your flathead to unscrew that. This is what I call a pilot jet. Because if this is, if your ever, engine's ever and surging and stuff, clean this out 90% of the time that fixes it. I could see some greening up in there. This right here is your main jet on a lot of times they're down in the emulsion tube, but this one's on the side. Be careful, these are really thin brass and they break easily. So if it's not given, try to be a little gentle with it. Now you'll see the side piece, the side jet here like this, you'll see that on a lot of Predator like inverters. So there we go. We don't have to remove the float in the needle. It's not gonna matter for what we're doing. But now that we got that all pretty much taken apart, you can either go to the ultrasonic cleaner, give it a clean, 
or we can just use carburetor cleaner which that's what I'm gonna do for reference I don't it doesn't matter what brand you use but I'm using gum out just because I was at AutoZone the other day and that's what I bought you could have bought the AutoZone brand however though I do not like stable carburetor cleaner as much because I don't like the top the the big white spray nozzle I like this red one so like super tech and the generics have this one stable is a good brand but I don't like the top cleaning the outside of the carburetor is unnecessary but I just like to do it so now perfect from here let's start with our pilot jet we'll just spray in the holes until we see stuff coming out of everything Now we'll make sure our main jet is clear. You just put the straw in there. It's spraying right out, perfect. Now we'll go to this hole on the carburetor. And it's shooting now. I don't know where I'm at in my camera. You should see it shoot out here as I spray in here. And that's how you know that's clear. We'll spray up in here. Good, good, good. We'll spray in here. Perfect. Now we'll put the main jet back in. And a lot of times, even if it, you didn't see an obvious obstruction, like I technically I didn't see an obvious obstruction in this carburetor. Just cleaning it might fix your problem. And if it doesn't, well, the problem's something else. But a lot of times it will fix your problem. So it doesn't hurt to just give your carburetor a nice deep cleaning. I'll double check the emulsion to, or the pilot jet. Pretty sure I got that clear. Let's we'll screw this back in. Unscrew this idle out. And I'll show you where I always go with the idle. And you could adjust it later if you need it. But I always like to close your throttle. And then open this until you barely see a crack up in there. Like right, oh, that's a little too much. Right there. Barely cracking open. And I think that would be perfect. Everything's looking good now. I'll go ahead and now that I got the jets in there, I'll give this hole one more spray here. I'll give it another spray up in here. And just give it a few more sprays. Perfect, now we can put it back together. We'll start by putting on this gasket. I'm a little shaky today. I haven't ate nothing. Now if you watch any of my other videos, probably not, you're probably just repairing this water pump. But anytime you put the bowl back on to a carburetor, the drainage is always going to go to the left. Well, I wouldn't say always, but most of the time, your drainage tube is always going to go to the left. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. If the carburetor goes on like this, drainage tube to the left, like that. Because always, it's going to be easier for the customer to drain their gas, which they never do, that's why they call us, from this side. And that's gonna be on most standard small engines. Perfect, it's looking beautiful. Now, we'll put the throttle back in.
the spring back in, the gas back on. Now, before I do anything, I will make sure that there is no leaks as I push this back on. So far, so good, no leaks. I will crack open the bowl. Oh, we are leaking. <clears throat> we do have a bit of a leak. So we know fuel's getting in there, so that's good. So I don't have to really crack open that. I just didn't, oh, it's still a bit, bit of a leak. Let's see where that leak is. Okay, the gasket was just a little cockeyed. I got it now, now there's no leaks. Yep, we're good. So now we can put the carburetor back on. And then before, and with these water pumps, you don't want to run them too much without water running through them. So as long as they start and stay running for the second, you should be good to go. So we'll, we will choke it. Oh, let me check. Make sure we throttle it up a little bit. Switch to the on position. Let's make sure there's oil in there. We got oil. So this thing should fire up. That's what I'm hoping for. I'd say that's mission successful, ladies and gentlemen. I was able to get it running and I think we're good to go on this one. I told the gentleman I'm gonna charge him 100 bucks for the repair because he's in town now and I did it before everything else. Like I have this big ass core cut. I mean, it's not a small engine per se. Maybe some people might think it's considered a small engine. But look at this thing. It's a big diesel engine. So I'm gonna be just doing a service on this. Plus um, one of the buttons isn't working right. But damn, this thing is, this thing is huge. It runs pretty good. It just needs an oil change and stuff like that. Periodically it does, but yeah. But other than that, hey, I appreciate you guys watching this repair on this um, 79cc water pump here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Join the membership, shout out to the members. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh, check out the links in the description. Have a good day.